Super Mario Run has finally arrived for iPhone and iPad, and if you're a YouTuber, I know you're keen to make videos about it. But do you want to record your gameplay with a camera, or do you want to record your iOS screen directly, like this? Well, if you want to do the latter, this is the complete beginner's guide on how to directly record Super Mario Run for your iOS device. To record your Super Mario Run gameplay, you will need a screen recorder. Apple doesn't officially support screen recorders, so you will need to download one from outside of the official Apple App Store. The best free iOS screen recorder is called Airshow, and to get it, point your Safari web browser to the following address. I'll leave a link in the video description to help you out. There's also a few more download sources which I'll leave in the description, but for this tutorial we're going to use this site. On this page, scroll down until you see Airshow. This is the 061 version of the recorder. If you do end up with a higher version, such as 070, that doesn't record your screen, it only does live broadcast. So if you end up with 070 or above, make sure you downgrade to version 6. Tap on either of the install links and then tap install on the pop-up. This will now download and install Airshow just like a normal application from the App Store. However, there is a sting in the tail. Apps downloaded from outside of the App Store require a signed and trusted certificate. If you launch the app, you will hit this error, and in order to fix it, you must manually trust the application. Fortunately, this is very easy to do. Remember the certificate name and then go to your settings, and in the general section, scroll down until you see profile and device management. In this screen, you should see that certificate name. The name can change as the certificate changes, but all you need to do is tap on the name, then tap on the blue words, and finally the red trust button. Once you've followed these steps, Airshow should work like any normal application, so tap on it to launch it. Now, a couple of things to note at this point. After working for a while, maybe a couple of days or weeks, the certificate will get revoked, which means Airshow stops working. At this point, you will need to delete it and download it again. For more details about this and alternative iOS screen recorders, you can check out my download guide and subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal as I cover this scene on a near daily basis. And just as a disclaimer, you download and use Airshow and all other iOS screen recorders at your own risk. Okay, now we have Airshow working, let's configure it. You have two main options. The first being to set your orientation for Super Mario Run, set it to portrait and recording quality. Set that at 1080p and test it. If you experience performance issues, lower the quality until you're happy with the results. Now let's start screen recording. Tap next step. If you are recording for the first time, it will ask for permissions to use the microphone. Airshow records all external sounds, so you must tap OK. On this screen, swipe up from the bottom of the device to bring up the control center. Tap on AirPlay mirroring and you should see Airshow as an option. When you tap on Airshow, a blue or red bar will appear at the top of the screen to indicate that you are now recording your screen. With everything in place, you can start up Super Mario Run, play the game and Airshow will capture everything. So on the left side of the screen is my camera recording, and on the right hand side of the screen is my direct Airshow recording of Super Mario Run. I'm sure you will agree that the image is brighter, sharper, and it takes all of the guesswork out of having to set up your camera and lighting. As said earlier, Airshow records from the device microphone, so make sure the speakers on your device are nice and loud, and if you talk to do live commentary, it will pick that up as well. Next up, let's finish the recording. All you need to do is go back into the Airshow application, which will show you how long it's been recording for, and you can tap on the stop button. That will save a video within the Airshow application, so this next step is very important. Always save your videos immediately to your photo gallery, because when the app certificate fails, the app no longer works, and you will lose any videos still in Airshow. To do this, tap on the button in the top right of the screen to show your videos, then tap on the video and save to camera roll. When you first do this, it will ask you for permission to access your photos. Tap yes, and that will save the video to your photos app. From there, you can edit it, transfer it to your computer, even upload the final results to YouTube. Of course, it's entirely up to you how you want to do that, but you could try something like this. If you have any questions about this tutorial, pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. Otherwise, thanks for watching, like the video if you found it useful, subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more content just like this, and enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.